Yes. Exactly 62. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we get my final guests out? Yeah. Brace yourselves. Uh, they've been married two years now, so they're coming up to their... I think it's their silicone anniversary, I think, <laughs> after two years. <laughs> Please welcome Katie Price and Peter Andre. Is she really going out with him? Is she really gonna take him home tonight? Is she really going out with him? Just in my eyes, come to see me with something going on around me. But you sit there, Katie, so I can admire your remarkable physique. Oh, Congratulations. I thought I'd wear my bum on my chest tonight. <laughs> I've got no idea how that zip's holding them together. Just go up by luck. Hopefully it won't pop out. That is really Hopefully that's it will. Dukes from <laughs> technical it is. Hey, uh, how are you doing? You're both looking very well. We feel great, you know. Because you were really meant good. to be on the show a short while ago and Peter came down with this terrible, terrible illness. It was, was it viral meningitis, is that correct? You know, it's a weird thing because these are the kind of things you hear about as kids and then all of a sudden it strikes you and you, you freak out a bit. But I, I feel great, you know. It's, it's kind of boosted my immune system. So, so you're all clear now? I think so. I've got a couple of other things, but we won't talk about it. No. <laughs> what was the, what was, when did you find out that you might have something wrong with you? What was the, uh, the warning signal and how did they diagnose it? Well, we were in Los Angeles promoting um, our show out there and uh, I was saying to Kate something was wrong and she said, ah, oh, you're just a typical bloke, you know. She always thinks that guys always overdo. You got a cold, we they got do. a flu. Right? You got... A you flu, you've now. got meningitis. I'm getting there. <laughs> she always does It takes so long, I'm well, it's sorry about it's this. very rare They've I get got to a edit the show, so It's out. nice for him to be out. And he doesn't get out so much anymore. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and, and I, it was so bad, and then someone said I died. That was in the press, they said. It's that. not that funny, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, and your brain swells up when you have Your brain it. swells up. And yours got as big as a walnut at one stage? <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> was that good? <laughs> <laughs> It was very worried. But you know what? It's, it's like it's a, a wake-up call. So. Well, of course it is, because uh, how fragile life is and how lucky we are to have our health, and, of course, you, you, you got through the other side, which is a, a, a lovely thing, and I'm very pleased to hear that. Oh, and by the way, you sent me something. Oh, yeah. Yes, Jonathan sent me a gift. Yeah. Yeah. We don't need to talk about this. We don't need to talk and about this. And one of them was a, yeah. was a DVD of... Pornos he sent I him. No, that... <laughs> As a get well. That, that was an accident. That was yeah. pretty much <laughs> accident. I was meaning to send that to someone else. But that was the first laugh I had in the whole two weeks. So oh, I was, was really actually. happy about that. And well, I where were you then? You should have been there tuning up. I was pregnant, ready to drop, oh, but I was still there. Yeah, I was like weeks away from But what a horrible time for it to happen for you, because you've got two at home and then you've My got another one, one cooking inside you and then you've got old lazy bollocks there lying around my <laughs> I was loving it. I bet you are. You couldn't believe your luck. But anyway, it's, it's over now, which is a great thing. Hey, and congratulations on the birth of your beautiful baby girl. Oh, we love her. Thank you. She's actually back there. Oh, is she here? Yeah. Is she in the Not there. I would hope not, no. Not uh, yet. And uh, what a lovely name you've chosen for her. Will you tell us the name? Princess Tiami. Princess Tiami is the mm -hmm. name. And a princess, I can understand why you went for that. Tiami, yeah. where does that come from? Because I'm not familiar with that well, name. Well, my mum's name's Tia. Kate's mum's name's Amy, so I thought we'll Just put them together. Just a little change in that. Yeah. Tiami. I mean, Princess yeah. was Kate's idea, right? Obviously. You know, when she... <laughs> That's a lot to live up to, though, calling someone Princess. Uh, she is my Princess. Oh, well, you, you know what, you remind me a little of a Princess as well. You did that song, Whole New World, and there's a, yeah. there's a feeling of Princess Jasmine about you, and she has that monkey abu, so there's <laughs> a kind of a... <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Is that not... Is... With the walnut brain, this is good. <laughs> I'm getting back. Well, you're not biting back, are you? No, because yeah. he's a good man. No, no, he's, he no, knows I'm joking. I'm joking. I know. Now, listen, uh, every day there seems to be a different story about you guys in the paper. And I know many of them aren't true, of course. But um, uh, what's going on in your life at the moment? Because um, I read, yeah. sometimes I read that the relationship isn't going well and you seem to be so, such a solid couple, I find that hard to believe. But would you like to <coughs> yes, clear up any stories? Yes, you know, I'm always the one to clear up gossip, yes. Yes. as we say. How long have you got? Um, <laughs> it's always in one particular shit... Trashy, awful magazine. Well, um, Jordan, you know, thank you. Apparently, you don't have to hold back on this show. <laughs> right, it's a fucking shit magazine. But, um, that apparently, because I went out for my wedding ring on, we're having rows because he was in Cyprus, and because I'd had the baby, I wanted to go out with the girls, but apparently that's wrong. Um, they said that Junior was going to be born blind because Harvey was born blind. Um, what have they said this week? Um, that I was partying out till 8 o'clock, but it wasn't, it was 7.45. Yes, 
so important in these matters. So um, you basically you suffer through that. And what do you do? Do you do you feel it's important to point that out, or do you just you just let it go and, and realize people don't pay attention? We're part of an industry. We know what it's about. And if we complain about it, we shouldn't be in it. And you know. And I, if we do split up, we will do uh, an album of splitting up songs. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I know you're not really joking because you're so <laughs> business focused. That's it, exactly. You will do that, won't you? Yeah, and then we'll do a reality show of how I cope on my own and how he copes flying back to Australia or whatever. I really want. I'm supposed to just get on a plane and yeah, go. You'll have to leave. She'll make you leave the country, you know. Never she has leave my kids. I couldn't care what anybody well, ever does to me. I will shed, never then. leave my kids. <laughs> um, now, uh, what's going on with this? I hear this is news, which frankly worries me a little bit. You're starting, uh, in my line of work, you're becoming oh, yes. rivals, starting a talk show over on ITV2. What, what will it be called? What kind of show? I'm hoping it'll be a bit different to mine. What's it going to be like? It's called. Why do I always have to do the promotion? Because if I okay, start, you're say cut it. me. So you may as well it starts with Katie and Peter Unleashed, and it starts next Friday. Okay, and at what kind ITV. of a show will it be? It won't be a Jeremy Kyle kind of no, show. It won't be problems. Be... It'll be. Yeah, there's problems in oh, it. Music well, in it. <laughs> two guests. <laughs> on the problem. No, two guests and um, toys on it, and okay. just like lots. And games. you know what? We're going to ask you here in front of yeah. everybody. Yeah, don't blow us out. Our dream guest is to have you sitting on the other side and let us interview you. Yes. Was that a yes? Yeah, but don't give it. Don't give it all that bullshit. Oh, I'm signed to BBC One. We can't do that. I'm not having that. <laughs> he is signed to BBC so? One. He's well, a man. What, do you offer incentives to your guests? Do you lure them in? We, sure. we offer people a chance to talk about new things they've got going out, and we often offer cash bribes. And uh, <laughs> we, we gave Jake a chow to dry himself off after his long sleep. <laughs> well, I, I thought this would be tempting enough, you know, my wife is. He's bored of seeing us now. Hold on. You're, you're giving me. I... <laughs> <laughs> I get the go on the missus. Is in this. In the event that I was going to pass away from a meningitis, I had to put something in the will that Jonathan's the only I man allowed to go near. I don't need anything of yours. How dare you? But he's offering... I think, now, am I, am I correct in this? Do, I know we have witnesses. <laughs> <laughs> you heard that. I'm being offered uh, I'm... Katie for, what, for an afternoon or half an hour? How long do I get? I'll she... finish you quick. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm so relaxed tonight. You know what? I feel like I've already been paid now because it's... <laughs> I know, I can see. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, you know what, uh, well, well, when do you record this programme of yours? We record it on Wednesday nights, it goes out on Friday nights. Next Friday night's our first show. Okay. We're a little bit nervous, but, you know, we're looking forward to I, it. I can't lot. do next Wednesday, but I promise you I will do a Wednesday this year. Brilliant. Okay, yeah. that's, uh, I promise I will come on. It would be my pleasure because I like you both very much indeed and uh, <laughs> I have nothing much to say. Hey,